Hello, everybody. My name is Aaron Villarreal, and I am here on the campus of Indiana University. I just got done recording a piece called Giraffe Study by Don Freund, one of the faculty composers here. So I thought I'd give you a little uh, insight into the piece and what it is and how I chose what I did. So um, anyway, he wrote for basically four different mallets at the beginning. And so these are the four mallets that I play when I begin the piece. And so this is actually, this wood mallet is a mallet that I constructed. I just bought the materials myself, but I have a soft yarn mallet. I have what I consider a plastic mallet, and then also a hard yarn mallet. And so between the four of them, you have four different sounds. And so the entire piece, up to a certain point, he actually writes different sounds. So that's all written out, and so I am reading that. Eventually, as we get into the piece, I have a little bit more freedom with my mallets, and so what I decided to do was throw a rubber mallet in my uh, left hand, just so when I start doing stuff like this, That way, I don't have a wood mallet, you know. Down here at this low register, a wood mallet would be a little too harsh. And so, uh, uh, I, I just decided to throw a rubber mallet in my left hand. And so, if you'll also notice, I don't know if you've seen this yet, but I have actually what is wax paper in between the registers of the keys. And so, the reason... The idea is that it gets a buzz, and the reason for that is this piece is based off of uh, a piece that uh, Professor Freund heard uh, uh, from a recording, which is the Imbira Zavadzimu, actually. Uh, I randomly know about that. It's kind of funny. But anyway, uh, those instruments have uh, often uh, metal parts that buzz on them. In addition, they usually are played with inside a gourd that's cut in half and that gourd has often like bottle caps or something else that buzzes on it. So, in the spirit of that, since this piece was based on, off of that, I decided to put this wax paper in between to sort of give a little bit of a buzz. And especially, you can definitely hear it at the low end. You know, so it definitely adds a texture and, and, and something to make the piece unique. Okay, so one of the interesting parts of the piece is the ending, and if you can ever see music, you'll understand what I mean, because the ending is, it has this ostinato in the left hand. It's been going on the whole piece. Okay, so while that's going on, I have to actually also play these individual notes very high up in the register. Luckily, this instrument is not too wide, the bars, but some instruments, it can, it can kind of be a challenge, so. Thank you. 